Well, hello everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video, we're gonna be talking about four high quality stocks and exchange traded funds that we plan to buy in the stock market ahead. I also have another bonus part to this video whereby I'll be talking to you about my key learnings from reading uh, the book, uh, Five Years Freedom. It's a book that I've just borrowed from library and today I was spending time reading through it. It's quite a fascinating book. I'll be sharing with you some of my key observations and lessons I've learned reading through this book and I wanted to share that with you. This book is about a young Canadian couple who uh, pursued early retirement and managed to achieve that in their 28 and 29 years of age uh, for the couple. A quite fascinating book. In fact, they talk a little bit about their own journey. Uh, when they were younger, they were quite successful. They got the job. Uh, the husband got a job in the insurance uh, business industry and the wife got a job in the federal as an as a employee in the federal government and they were making good money. They were successful going up the corporate ladder quite quickly. And as they did that, they started to have uh, uh, kind of experience that lifestyle inflation. They had their first child. They decided, you know what, after buying their first house, now it's time for them to upgrade to a new house. They sold their old house, bought a half a million dollar custom built home in Ottawa, uh, the capital of Canada. And from there on, bought a new SUV car. And they little by little, they realized that their costs are getting out of uh, control. Their awakening moment was for them when they had their child. And they started realizing how costly it is to pay for the daycare. Um, fast forward now they have three children and that really uh, allowed them to kind of reflect on their cost basis they jotted down all their costs and started to see that what are their top three categories of cost what was uh, quite obvious to them was the biggest category of their cost was related to uh, child care the daycare costs closer to some somewhere around twenty five thousand dollars in a year was related to that the second biggest category for them was related to their housing whether it's around their mortgage payments uh, around maintenance for their houses property taxes, and you name it. And the third category was related to transportation, somewhere around the cost for the car payments, their car insurance, uh, any public transit that they had to still uh, pay for, parking, and so on and so forth. They had all the costs categorized in terms of different categories. And what they really uh, surprised them was the fact that their three top three categories of ex expenses that I talked to you about almost covers around 75 or 70 percent of their overall cost in a year. So if they had a way, magic way to kind of eliminate or reduce that those costs, that would really um, propel their plan for reaching early retirement and their financial independence, financial freedom early on. And that's what exactly they did. They thought of, hey, what would happen if we, we didn't have to work? If we retired early, then we could take care of our, the children ourselves. Not only we get, get to spend more time with our kids and spend time with them and really you know, strengthen our family bonds, but also we can save on the cost of related daycare, which was their biggest uh, expense. On top of that, if they are uh, retired, they don't possibly need to commute as much. They ended up selling one of their cars and deciding on only having one car. They, it also reduces their uh, costing because they manage to uh, commute, actually transfer to and live in a smaller uh, community. They move to a, back to a town whereby their, their parents they used to live. And instead, they managed to, what they, they call it, pursue an LCOL, lower cost of living. They managed to tra transfer and uh, live in a different place where they have lower cost of living. And as a result of that, um, you know, kind of lower their uh, lifestyle expenses, They're still managing to uh, set aside enough money for things that matter to them. They love traveling, and that's something that they could still pursue. In fact, I believe, according to the book, they still allocate about four to eight thousand dollars in a year for travel expenses. Ultimately, fast forward through this exercise, in five years, they managed to quit their jobs and reach early retirement. I do encourage you to pick up the book if you can, either get a copy of it or perhaps borrow it from a library uh, if that interests you and uh, read it. It has some interesting uh, facets and knowledge pieces that really triggers your thoughts. I know for me, at least it definitely did. I was chatting with my wife earlier today, some of the key learnings that I had by reading through this book. Now, with that out of the way, let us get into the main topic of this video and talking about four high quality ETF and stocks that I plan to buy in the week ahead. Let's get into it.
All right, looking at our account with Wealth Simple Trade, that one of the accounts that we more, most actively use, we're going to take a look at our tax free savings account. The very first pick for us to pick up in the week ahead in the stock market would be uh, one of our current holdings, which is VDY, Vanguard FTSE Canadian High Dividend Yield Index ETF. That's one of the recent picks that I've started to add to my portfolio uh, with ticker symbol VDY. Uh, we currently have seven shares of VDY, and it is currently up by just fraction of a share at 0.40%. And we intend to pick up more shares of uh, Vanguard FTSE Canadian High Dividend Yield Index in the week ahead. A little bit more about this ETF. Uh, it actually allows you to, as the name suggests, to have a, follow the performance of a broad Canadian equity index that measures the investment return of common stocks of Canadian companies that are characterized by high dividend yield. And um, it does pay its distributions on a monthly basis, which is quite uh, interesting for those who are interested in a passive dividend income. They have a management expense ratio of 0.22%, which means, let's say, if you invest uh, $1,000, uh, $1, you would be paying a fee of $2.20 in a year. BDY was incepted back in November of 2012, and currently it does pay a distribution of about 15 cents per share, uh, which accounts for about 3.18% annual dividend yield. Looking at the past performance for VDY based on the market price, the year-to-date return at the end of uh, February of 2022 uh, is showing to be positive 7.6%. One year return is at 36.4%, three-year annualized return of 16% plus, and five-year annualized return of 11%. If you look at the holdings for VDY, you're looking at 39 different holdings, with the top uh, holdings being Royal Bank of Canada, Toronto Dominion Bank, Bank of Nova Scotia, Enbridge, and Bank of Montreal. Majority of the sector's exposure is to financials at about 57%, followed by energy and telecommunications. That's our very first pick uh, when it comes to uh, the picks for the week ahead. Our next pick in the week ahead is Shopify. It's a technology, information technology firm with ticker symbol SHOP. It is also available for investors outside of Canada as a US dollar investment option. Uh, Shopify stocks have definitely picked up some steam uh, from the lows of close to $600 now currently is trading at $846, although at the last trading day, it was down by 4%. 4 the two lines, the green one is showing you the moving average 100 days, and the gray one is showing you the moving average in the past 20 days. As you notice, closer to end of December of last year, the moving 20-day average uh, fell below the data of the 100-day moving average, and it's been the case, though, um, it starts to pick up and uh, starting to go back uh, to the uh, higher up direction as opposed to just a downward trend. Looking at the Shopify stock, the past one week, the stock is showing to be still up by 4%. The past one month is down by about 1.5%, but the past three months is down by 53%. Uh, as for us, we in our portfolio, we currently have uh, about half a share of, uh, of Shopify. 0.49 to be more accurate. And it is down by about 30%. It's definitely recovered a little bit from where it's, it was a couple of weeks ago, but we intend to add more to our shares of Shopify and bring our cost average down. Um, currently, our average price is at $1,200 uh, around that. Uh, but if you look at the 52-week range for the price of Shopify, it has been as low as $654, but it has been as high as $2,228. So that's about our second pick. Our third pick is going to be Emerge Arc Genomics and Biotech ETF. This is mostly a, a, a choice here from a lens of trying to bring our cost average down. Uh, this ETF with ticker symbol EAGB has definitely one of the higher management expense ratio as close to 1.15%. So that's not ideal. But because uh, personally, uh, I'm quite down in it. I want a dollar cost average and give you a little bit more exposure to healthcare sector. As the name suggests here, pretty much 97%, 96% of your exposure is to healthcare, uh, being getting exposure to companies, renowned companies such as Exact Science Corporation, Teladoc, 
INS Pharmaceuticals, Intelia Therapeutics, and Beam Therapeutics. A lot of different therapeutical and bio, uh, biomedical businesses that they haven't done the best, but in, in a sense, uh, they've been beaten down quite extensively. And we think that uh, for our portfolio, at least it might be a good time to uh, add them and pick up more shares of EAGB. If you look at our own uh, positions at currently at EAGB, if I quickly show that to you, you notice that we have currently uh, 26 different shares of EAGB with an average purchase price of $20.93 or down about 42.5%. In the past one week, EAGB has been down by close to 2%. The past one month, it's down by close to 7%. And the past three months, it's down heavy by close to 27%. The one-year return is even worse at 46% negative. Uh, but could that be the, the, the bottom? If you look at the past five years, it's, it's showing up by 26.63%. And that's where we are when you're looking at the past five-year charts for EAGB. That's our third pick. And lastly, our fourth pick is the Canadian Bank. Uh, we are going to go and pick more shares of TD. We have some fraction of shares of TD in our tax-free savings account, but we definitely have much more shares in our non-registered account, where we have 9.2 uh, shares. And in tax-free savings account, we have close to 0.3 fraction of our shares, uh, both of which are up. And in one place, it's up by about 4%, and the other place is up by close to 38%. Toronto uh, Dominion Bank is a wonderful bank, a Canadian bank that is also available in US dollars. What's so amazing about Toronto Dominion Bank, although it's a uh, Canadian founded bank, it has exposure and is uh, available in the US as well. It's, it's an international bank in that sense. They operate um, in multiple businesses and multiple segments. And as a result of that, we feel that they have definitely a strong edge uh, in terms of their prospect. Look at the past one year return for TD, and I, I think you're going to be impressed with positive 23% return. The past five years, even better at 57% cumulative uh, return. The past one week, TD stock is almost stagnant. The past one day was slightly up by about 1%. The past one month, up, it was showing to be down by 2.7%. And the past three months, it was up by close to 5.7%. Seven percent. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look into four high-quality uh, stocks and ETFs that we plan to buy in the stock market in the week ahead. Uh, obviously, this is the, the the best decision for our us based on our research and our um, you know existing portfolio that we have. Uh, be sure to do your own due diligence and research um, before buying any of these stocks or any other stock or ETF that you hear about or um, you know come across. Uh, through YouTube for that matter. Definitely, it's important for you to uh, be uh, confident in your own abilities and deciding on your uh, on by yourself. Uh, we hope you found this video beneficial and gained something valuable from it. And of course, gain some value from uh, reading the book and sh uh, the sharing that we have based on our understanding and learnings from reading through the Five Years Freedom book that we shared earlier on in this video. If you gained something of value from this video, of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone else who might benefit from the video. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Here on Momentum Finance, we post every week several videos about investing, whether it's investing in the stock market, including dividend, cryptocurrencies, and uh, growth stocks, as well as discussing ways to reach financial independence. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.